Hello everyone. This is our senior design project um, on 3D warehouse design. My name is Vaishnavi Mohan and the rest of the team members are Alex Potratz and Pablo Marine. Our project is focused on improving the picking rate of orders at 3E. 3E is a warehouse facility that supplies electrical component to businesses as well as households. The warehouse is divided into two areas, the static area and the pallet area. Static area is where smaller parts that can be easily picked are stored and pallet area where larger parts that require fork truck are stored. So the four main problems in our in the warehouse facility are the pro products are not clearly classified between fast and slow moving parts. Employees are inefficient when they're picking. There are a lot of excessive walking that can be reduced. Pickers are often lost or confused during the picking process. Our main objective is to um, pick 25 percent more lines per person. We can do this by separating workers and orders into pallet and static, identify fast movers and move them to hot zones, reducing walking time using movers and vertical carousels, adding work instructions for static and static area and scan guns. Um, and this would hopefully increase the lines to 200 lines per person. So for our CSA, uh, the things that we did were a random work sampling to figure out the various times that people were spending doing things. So. For example, they were picking 25% of the time and walking 33% of the time. We also did a speed eight diagram following one order and we figured that we could save 26% of the travel distance. We also were shadowing a uh, single static orders and turns out in the second year they're picking 50% of the time and they're walking 24% of the time. We also did a time study for picking and the standard time we got was 49.3 seconds. We also did a mover versus walking speed and found that the movers were 41% faster than walking and they're good for long trips. And we also found the 15th most picked parts from the third quarter sales data that we had. And finally, we just did some standard walk times from areas. So for example, it takes about a minute to go from receiving to shipping. And that's just good to know so that we can avoid that in the future. So for our future state, all our ideas stem from the idea to separate workers and orders uh, into pallet or static area. We can place the pickers in whichever area that fits, uh, that fits uh, um, their training and preferences. Staying in one area will allow them to become experts in the area and also help them to pick faster. Uh, once placed in the area, they can also be trained with a mover or vertical carousel. Um, and each section will have a different picking standard. So for the fast movers and uh, hot zones, we found the top 28 fast moving parts and calculated the distance uh, from its current location to shipping area. And then we created different zones that was re represented by different colors, green, yellow, and red. Um, and so our parts should be placed in green and yellow zone. And this would hopefully uh, reduce the walking distance by 35%. We can also place all the top fast moving parts into A, B, and C shelving heights, so it's easily, it can be easily picked, and heavy parts should be placed in pallet area. So this is how our, the first picture shows how the current locations um, are for the um, fast moving parts, and it should be placed in green and yellow zones to reduce walking time. So for our work instructions, we just wanted to help out the workers and eliminate any confusion they would have. And we also just wanted to make it very repeatable for them. So we included the work instructions with all the primary steps and decisions that they had to make. We also included notes and tips for them. And we also included any visuals to show them exactly what to do. And we also did a work instructions for the scan gun because that goes hand in hand with the picking process. And there is some complexity to it using technology. So we also wanted to make that easier. And we wanted to include the exact buttons and options to press. And uh, we also included visuals for them as well. And we also wanted to make these into posters and put them on the front of the push cart so that the workers can read them as they're moving through the process. So it would go right there. Awesome. So now for the movers, this will really help in reducing the walking time and travel time, specifically for the pallet area. And another great benefit, it also includes that it can carry heavy items and there's a lot of space on it. Doing the, the calculations on Excel, we got a total time saved of 10%. And in implementing a shelf on top of this one, on top of the, the mover, will actually help in adding two more toads. 
to it. So the 10% of the time savings will increase the pickup rate up to 176 lines. And over the three year spam, it will save a total of $49,557. Uh, so now for the uh, static area, that's where we want to implement a vertical carousel, which is an automated process for picking. And this will benefit in space saved, walking is gonna be eliminated, ergonomically it's gonna be better, and the pickup rate will increase. Uh, again, doing the calculations, comparing it with the CSA, we got a total time saved of uh, 32%. So we communicated with the client Cardex uh, Remstar, who gave us all of the specifications and different models. And for when we, we start this, we wanna implement the system where we want to start with one carousel and specifically make it for the OEM parts. This is, uh, yeah, okay. And finally, at the beginning of the three year span, we will be losing money, but after that, we will be breaking even. And this will be increasing the line pickup rate by up to 190 lines. Oh, sorry, 211 lines. So the new pick standards, uh, after we implement all these things, would be 225 lines for the static section and 190 lines for the pallet area. And so we don't make m quite meet the mark in the pallet area of that 200 line goal, but this isn't factoring in the work instructions. And we're also not factoring experience once the employees get used to the new system. And our overall economic impact, if we meet our goal of 25% improvement in lines would be $600,000 over the next three years. So the way we want to implement, um, the order in which we want to implement it, first we want to have two work instructions, one for static and one for the scan bins. We also want to put the fastest movers in the hot zones. We want to separate workers and orders in pallet and static area. We want to have five movers and one vertical carousel. So for our future steps, we want to uh, create time study for vertical carousel. We can make videos for work instructions and training and also possibly update training processes. Uh, we could also buy more movers for put away to keep up with the faster picking and buy more carousel to save some space. Thank you. <laughs>